I'm going to show you how to install a connector to an RG6 coax cable. This connector is also called an F connector. A word about F connectors, there are several different kinds. There's some that you can thread on by hand, so that would not require any special tools. There's some that you crimp on, and then there are, like this one, some that you can compress on, and that's the best kind. Um, that's what the pros use, and that's what I'm going to show in this video. So here are the tools that you're going to need. A sharp utility knife, or what I recommend is coax cable strippers, a compression crimp tool, and wire strippers. To prep the end of the cable, you will first cut off about a half inch of the black sheathing. Be careful not to cut too deep. You do not want to slice through the braided shield underneath. It is a braid of very fine wires. I have now exposed the braided shield, which are these fine wires you see surrounding this tip. I will now simply peel back these wires all the way around. Just like that. Under this foil is a white plastic core. This white plastic core is what insulates the center conductor wire. Using wire strippers, you will now strip off a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch of this tip, which is that white plastic core that's underneath this foil. That will expose the inner wire. To make this easier, I will ring around the plastic with my utility knife. Now I can easily strip the end of this off using my wire strippers. Just like that. You'll now want to take your uh, thumbnail, fingernails, and just kind of clean the wire up really well. It's a good idea to do that. Make sure there isn't anything on it. Make sure it's just clean and bare. Once you have cleaned off the wire, Make sure all the other wires are pushed back. And now you can actually see that white core that surrounds this wire. So this is what it's supposed to look like before we put the connector on. I will now insert the cable end into my F connector. Pushing it on. Sometimes it's a little tough to do. Pushing it on until the white core seats in the catch there, just like that. I can now secure my F connector to the coax cable using my compression tool. As you can see, there is a hole 
on this piece here. That receives the wire on the end of the connector. I simply put it in and drop the back end of the connector down into the catch, just like that. Now you simply squeeze the handles together and that crimps the F connector to the coax cable.